things we do for you guys. I'm on right now. We go now. So we're ready mate. So yeah, welcome back guys to another vlog and today we're heading down to Goodwood Race Circuit for the Festival of Speed. What the? Guys, leave a comment below as to what you think this fill up is going to cost in great british pounds i'll leave the answer at the end of the vlog big thanks to bmw uk for reminding us about this event because we almost forgot didn't we yeah but yeah we're heading down to goodwood festival of speed it's the 50th anniversary for bmw m they will be releasing well they already have released but we'll be showing you guys the brand new bmw g81 and potentially the new G87 M2. Bit obsessed with these BMWs at the moment. <laughs> you know what, BMW are doing the right kind of moves at the right sort of times. Obviously, we went, we went through some trouble times a couple of years ago, didn't we? Mm -hmm. But BMW was still hot on the marketing, kind of thinking about when to release their stuff. And we've been waiting for that G87 for a long time, haven't we? Waiting that long, we were gonna buy a bloody 240i. <laughs> now the channel don't want to see a 240i, do they? So I want to take this moment times to thank Me. all of to thank all of our subscribers and Times Media for obviously producing these epic videos. They're epic, aren't they? So we're about to do another review on another BMW, specifically... <laughs> Police, Police <spec>. yeah. <laughs> No arrests were made in the process of this vlog, but his mates just turned up in an Audi. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> Probably the nicest police officer we've come across, right? Yeah, yeah. But generally, like, spotted him off a mile away. <laughs> but his mate, did you see him? He turned up in that... In the Audi. In the Audi. That, I couldn't tell that Blended. was... Blended. Uh, that was completely the most blendiest police car I've ever seen, ever. Uh. So we're actually driving there the night before. Our good friend Jay from DNA Auto Cars is heading down tonight as well and he's booked a nice little apartment. And there's a couple of rooms spare, so we're gonna go join him. Cheers, Jay. Cheers, Jay. You can have 20 chicken and chips. <laughs> Early the next morning. How was your night, mate? Oh, mate, he's eventful. Let's just <laughs> say that, he's eventful. Mate, I woke up with a bad back. <laughs> I'm getting old. I'm getting old. But we're here, we're, I don't know where we are. Don't know what the weather's going to be like. Let's go, man. Let's go. It's a bit quiet around here, isn't it? So, coffee loaded. Shower. Done, let's go. let's go. So yeah, with all the traffic yesterday, man, didn't get much sleep, so I don't think uh, we saved a lot of time, did we? No. Could've got more sleep back at home, yeah, and yeah. then traveled in the morning, but it is a fair distance, it's not too far from here. But yeah, it's about six o'clock in the morning. The things we do for you guys. Look at that array of cars here, mate. That's what I'm saying. McLarens, Ferraris, Lambos. Should we take a walk? Let's 
children, get yourself ready for a loud and colourful start to the show. Yeah, I'm not a huge Jap fan, but this is where it all began. Colin McRae's in Pretesca. So yeah, growing up, I was a massive rally fan, huge rally fan. I used to go to all the Wales events and stuff like that. And seeing this car in the flesh again, it just brings back memories. It was, yeah, it was mad. Pro Driver just released. They're basically remanufacturing the 22B which is a wide arch version, as a P25 with like 400 brake horsepower and 0 to 16 3.4, some mad tech, half a million pounds. You know what's funny, I think every time I see a better car, I'm going to say it's my favourite car of the show. Can you believe the Drift Brothers are here with their M4? Highly tuned drift cars. identical look at it exhaust exit from the rear screen really want to chat to them and see exactly what they've done to the s58 to get it to a thousand horse Yeah, I think we're, we'll head over to Lotus. It's cool seeing the Drift Brothers. They're going to go up in a bit, so we'll try and chat to them after. But we really want to go see the Lotus Amira. Loads of favourite cars of the show, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> every time every you, car you every see, every car you see, it's a new favourite. Favourite car. I don't know where Jay and them are gone. They got lost. We'll find them. We'll find them in a bit. Yeah, guys, if you love this content, leave a comment below because, like I said before, we do this for you. Well, can we eat at the Lamborghini restaurant? <laughs> Let's go, let's go have lunch at Lamborghini restaurant. Yeah. What are you doing? I uh, just had a request for a tune. In the morning, I couldn't get the base map sorted, so I'm going to quickly do it before we go for lunch. Um, looks like the car is in France, G82 M4. What? Vava Voom? Vava Voom. Come oh, mate. All right, mate, lunch time. Oh. Oh. So here we are in Electric Avenue. Not my favourite place, is it, Tom? Cheer up, mate. But look, at electric cars are coming, but I just don't know, like, once the infrastructure's here and the cars get a bit prettier and they can handle better and perform well and longer range, I think I'm a massive fan, but at the moment, like, let's walk around. Let's have a look, mate, let's have a look. So, yeah, Nissan are doing bits with electric cars. They have done since the Leaf was released. Um, on that Porsche, on the other hand, now, they're the guys who are probably taking the biggest light in my eyes, in electric vehicles, because their cars are absolutely rapid. Based on obviously the Audi e-tron chassis, but the Taycan is amazing. The Turbo S, it's got no turbos. I don't know why they call it Turbo <laughs> S, but it's absolutely quick, and it sounds like it sounds like a bloody helicopter going past, isn't it? Yeah. With all the fans blurring. There's a combination of cars here. Fisker with their Ocean. Um, Renault. And Lotus. Lotus have a new compact SUV, which is um, 
which is a pretty looking car. Tesla, obviously, are here. I think we've seen uh, enough Teslas in our lifetime. They are definitely at the forefront of electric vehicles, aren't they? Yeah. And everyone else is following. But take a look at that Lotus Elettra. What's that? Yeah, 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 yeah. So guys, I don't know if you know, but Parker owns Vehicle Virgins on YouTube in America. He's got over 6 million subscribers. Oh, I wish. <laughs> 2.3 million. 2.3 million. Absolute legend. So you're in the UK for the Festival of Speed? Yeah, this is like... There's Monterey Car Week in the U.S. Yeah. It's my favorite week of the year in the U.S. And then there's Goodwood Festival of Speed. And between okay. those two, it's, it's the ultimate car guy experience. So you've been here before, right? I think five times. Oh, wow. Okay. Never, never gets old. Have you been here before? Yeah, we've been here before. We've never documented it on our channel. All right. So we've always enjoyed it as like civilians. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I presume it's going to be hugely BMW orientated yeah. because of the 50 year anniversary. I went to see the G81, but it's not there. Apparently it's out on track. The wagon? The wagon, yeah. You don't get yeah. it in America, right? No, we don't. And oh. I, want to do, I want to do a whole film on it because we don't get it in oh, America. Wow. So I guess I'll have to wait for it to come back. Yeah. If you want to go, subscribe to Vehicle Virgins, park out. I'll leave a link below. Just to meet you Great in person. Great to meet you, man. Oh, so I'm taking it easy. Everyone wants to know where I got inspired from. I'm on GAT M3. From this car here. Can you name all the McLarens, yeah? McLaren, 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 McLaren. How many McLarens in the car park? 100. Too many. Only two M3s though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Mr. Schmeez here with his collection from the Schmuseum. <laughs> to us remember in the last vlog all the sh food that was at these car shows look at this want a kebab <laughs> not from fannies <laughs> thank you such quick service thank you happy now mate i'm happy let me sip it i'll be happier <laughs> let me just let me just have my coffee in peace bro where you always got the camera at it's mate mate now i keep saying car of the show car of the show Look what we've just found. Favourite car of all time. <laughs> Mabs, have you spotted it? Love eyes. Perfect spec in it, black. <laughs> Guys, Mabs has been drooling about this car for the last month. Okay, Hello, <laughs> gents, how's it going? How are you doing, doing lad? I missed you. Bro, you, <laughs> you, you, you forget about you missing us, you missed the BM. Oh, no, no, you know what it is? I just got carried away. He loves his coffee and yeah, his croissants. Oh, yeah. We're walking, innit? Where are we going, mate? We are off to BMW stand Ooh. to go see what we were missing out on before. Let's go see it then. it is but it's very similar to my vehicle right yeah t81 m3 touring looks the same from the front obviously we're not going to go over the full specs because 
pretty much the same as an X Drive normal one. I think it's about 80 kilos more heavier. Obviously, it ain't got a carbon roof and it's got the extra added weight from the rears. Um, but yeah, we'll check out the back. And that there's the difference. Look at the rear arches. Like the G80, the reason why we picked it was because of the huge wide arches in comparison to the G82. And I think the G81 does the same effect. Just look at it. So one of the latest additions to the G81, as probably everyone has seen, is the new iDrive system and the new infotainment, clinical cluster, all of that combined into one screen. So if you haven't checked it out, we did an iX3 review and that had the same kind of iDrive 8 and it's pretty much the same screen basically in this G81. And I think all new M3s and M4s are going to have that from next year, but they've released it in the G81 first. <sighs> See, I slid in that so nicely. Obviously, the steering wheel and everything needs to be in right position, and the and the seats need to be in my position. But it's weird because like they, I do miss the cluster. And I always said to you that G80 cluster on our car is amazing because it's got everything you need there, has that display and stuff. But this all feels still too far. It's weird and being in a left-hand drive car. Can you imagine this on track? That's better. It's a weird sensation. But yeah, this iDrive 8, I don't know, I'm not a massive fan at the moment, but I'm sure getting used to it, people will fall in love with it because we tried it in the iX and the most annoying thing was the climate control menu, you remember? Yeah. Like going through the menu system and trying to get it to work, but it is the future, all this touchscreen, one kind of binnacle kind of display. Um, but yeah, it's heavier than the G80, but come on man, 700 horsepower in a G81. It's not going to be that much difference to a saloon, is it? Yeah, that's true. And X-Drive, they all come in X-Drive with the ZF8 speed auto, so these are going to be very popular when people get their hands on one. So yeah, that's the G81 M3. I'm going to try and get in the M Performance Edition, which looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that gold wheels, satin black, frozen black paint. Let's go over, man. Let's go check it out. All right, there is the G81 M3 in full stealth spec, frozen black with a full M Performance kit. Look at that tailgate. Look at these fins. It's got the 21 inch M Performance wheels on there in the satin gold. 21's on the rear, 20's at the front. Um, we've got to take a seat in there, see what it feels like. Because we've seen the M Performance kit on the G82 already, like there's so many renditions of them. Uh, but this is quite funny, it's got a little, little flap to the tow hook. But pretty much the same as a normal G80 at the front end. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think it's the best wagon on the market, hands down. So this is G81 number two, and I think this is my favorite, man. BMW, what, what are you doing? What's this? Frozen black with the carbon fiber. It hasn't got a carbon fiber roof, but it's got all the other options. Steering wheel is definitely, I can imagine this one on track, it was gonna be amazing. Matte carbon is a brand new finish. I've not seen this on a G, G series, and Alcantara down the sides. But I think this links directly into our next vehicle that we're going to get into because these seats, we've complained about them loads, isn't it? Yeah. But there's an M4 CSL over there and it's got fixed bucket seats. Whereas on this, you can adjust it, tilt it backwards and forwards. On the CSL, you can't, so let's see how hard that is to get into. I think that might be a right and drive one. So it'll be very relative to what we're in now. Anyway, there's an M4 CSL over there that I'm dying to see, so let's go see it. So it's a bit busy here at the BMW M stand purely because it's the 50th anniversary, so there's a lot of stuff going on. DJ's here, there's a party, there's an exclusive members club inside. We've got the guys over there from the BMW um, GT race cars. Um, so we'll try and have a chat with them. But check this out, man. I will go to church if it stops raining. And it stopped raining. So as I said, we've been complaining about carbon buckets that are electronically adjustable and beautiful on track. Look at these fixed buckets. Remind me of the Porsche 911 GT3. Let's try and get in. That's a better seat. Oh, mate. That's like GT4. Mate, it's not that difficult to get in. Once you're in, obviously, you're in a fixed position. No adjustments, no lumbar adjustments, no tilt adjustments. And it's a, it's a mechanical lever on a car that costs 130 grand. But yeah, obviously it feels more familiar because it's very similar to my G80 M3. It's got a nice steering wheel, full Alc Alcantara. Um, and the binnacles stay the same. I drive level, so whether that's I drive seven or whatever. Guys, 
Now, let me tell you and explain to you something, right? The G80 M3 was a very premium M car. Now these, obviously limited edition, only 100 coming to the UK, M4 CSL, lightweight edish, edition. Everything stripped out like you haven't got no centre armrests, no back seats. But it's a beautiful place to be. Like the seats actually feel more comfortable times mm -hmm. than my seats. And I think they're in the perfect position for me to sit in. Like I wouldn't need to lean it back anymore. I wouldn't need like the front and rear adjustment is perfect. The steering wheel's nice and chunky for Alcantara. And I thought I would miss the centre armrest. But I don't miss it because it gives me more room to kind of steer freely without any interruptions. Like trying to convince yourself. Mate, I'll be honest with you, I think this is probably the ultimate M car. Imagine this, guys, with 700 brake horsepower, M4 CSL, 700 brake. Leave a comment below if you want me to do it. They have stripped 100 kilos off this, and that's purely down to the carbon fibre bonnet, the kind of lightweight wheels, the interior being stripped, and the carbon boot as well. All of that, 100 kilos lighter is gonna make a massive difference on track. Even more so, when you have a 700 brake horsepower from it. So this is the moment of truth times. How difficult is it to get out of the M4 CSL in comparison to mine? Well, I'll tell you now, it's got a higher seat bolster. Oh. <sighs> Absolute amazing machine. Hands down, I think they've got all the ingredients from the previous gen CSL, like this one. And there we have it, E46 M3 CSL. Absolute rare as rocking all they're going up in value. Obviously, they've got a carbon airbox, makes it sound amazing. They've got their SMG system, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I think the CSL does it a bit better than the normal E46. But we did do a video times, didn't we? Yeah. So guys, I'm going to leave a link up there to an E46 M3 that we tune with a carbon airbox and a Scorpion exhaust. What's in this exhaust system on the market? Helical Technologies. <laughs> That's still, can you double tap that? Yeah, two. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Did you see so much volume in sport mode, mate? I did, yeah. So, as the last video, we walked around and made everyone subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're doing the same to Dan. <laughs> We've got him. <laughs> <laughs> the Lotus Amira is definitely Oh, that's got me interested. I'm not a huge Lotus fan, but this letter is Amira. I think it's supercharged, able drive, the beast, and they've got the Mercedes AMG A45 engine going in it later on in the year. Really need to sit in one, see what it feels like, maybe drive. Look, it drops down like a toilet seat. Ones I'm sold. I'm actually sold. I'm gonna go supercar shopping, forget that. We bought a Lotus Amira. Lovely place to be. In the next video, we're going to collect our Lotus Amira. <laughs> I'm buying one right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to drive one, but I wanna buy one now. Loads of flag. Brand new Artura. Yeah, we're gonna have to go track side, see what they sound like, because I don't think they're gonna be started up yet. No. It's an interesting car, like I said, it's, uh, I think it's got a 720S engine detuned. So all our loyal fans out there will understand the kind of, the, the competitiveness of a McLaren owner when it comes up against a stage two G83, <laughs> isn't it? So yeah, McLaren's always been, I don't know man, like, it's always been a company that I've loved because they're British and their engineering is sick. The reliability, reliability is shit, but I think they make fast cars and that I'll shoot right out. I think it's going to be a quick car. Um, in terms of tuning, obviously, that's an horsepower, it's quite easy man. Hybrid turbos, a thousand horsepower. And it's a great platform, they sound good and their launch control is really good, so four mile times are wicked. I don't know man, guys leave a comment below as to what you guys think of the McLaren brand because I'm that close to investing into McLaren Diagnostics so we can start servicing, maintenance and tuning these.
on time times yep i hope everybody enjoyed this vlog let us know in the comments below what you think of it smash the thumbs up button if you did like it and don't forget to subscribe for more content i'll see you soon So the answer on camera is 87 pounds and 28 pence.